Congress has passed legislation that allocated important spectrum to public safety and provided a funding mechanism for the initial build-out of the nationwide public safety broadband network. The bill also includes funds for the creation of the First Responder Network Authority, or FirstNet. Harris simulated a nationwide band 14 LTE network on the same 700 MHz spectrum that's been allocated for the construction of the nationwide public safety broadband network. It's a proof of concept and a technology demonstration tying together some pilot systems that are operating in public safety agencies in Las Vegas and in Miami, along with systems that we have on the air in our development centers in Rochester, New York, and then Chelmsford, Massachusetts. For the demonstration, Harris had Band 14 LTE base stations on the air linked together with a commercial carrier's broadband backhaul to an LTE core in Chelmsford, and it showcased a number of applications over that network. Harris demonstrated voice communications via its software application called Beon that allows for push-to-talk communications over commercial and public safety LTE networks and delivers the full P25 feature set for voice needed by public safety users. The demonstration also displayed wirelessly streaming video from police vehicles in the pilot cities to the command center in Chelmsford. Situational awareness applications simultaneously showed all first responders' locations and availability to respond. Video, particularly live streaming video, is a very important application for public safety agencies. Many police vehicles have a mounted dashboard video camera to record the activities of officers, suspects, and others when police respond to incidents. Typically, this video footage is stored in the vehicle's camera and viewed at a later time at the police station. LTE gives you the capability of streaming that live to a dispatch center, a supervisor, a command center somewhere. And you can have people remotely monitoring what the police officer is doing and send help as needed or intervene as needed and can communicate. And that's a brand new thing that LTE makes possible because of the broadband capabilities it provides. LTE makes this possible. And with the planned nationwide public safety network, that power will come to first responders. This demonstration proves that nationwide public safety communications and applications like sending live video from the field anywhere securely is possible over Band 14 LTE with multiple sites around the country. The demonstration showcased full communication interoperability and coordinated situational awareness. It could just as easily be four different places in one county, four different places in one city, even four different places in one state. We simulated four different places in the country, noting the significance of the great distance. The capabilities enabled by LTE represent a whole new level of operations for the public safety community, bringing communication and coordination to a state never before thought possible.